showing up. Okay. Funny meeting you here. Yeah, funny meeting you here. Welcome back, everyone, to uh, Let's Preview the 13th Age. A special permission from Fire Opal Media and Pellegrin Press. Hello, Wade. Thank Wade. you. Uh, hello, hello. Everybody. Hello. Hello. When we last left off, our heroes had just exacted uh, their vengeance on the uh, the boorish groat, uh, a demon prince of small Rigby. More like a spider <laughs> than a boar. De- demon fueled, I suppose. Not not a demon himself, just one who deals with such she like. Was jacked up on she demons. Hell of hopped up. She had the demon juice um. in him. On the juice. Yeah. And it went loose. Oh, and then no. we killed him. Yeah. Uh, and, and then I killed his ass. And uh, coincidentally, <laughs> at the same time, the uh, the hellhole eruption that had been bubbling and boiling from below uh, went hot and took off one of Rigby's hind legs. And the entire jungle of the behemoth is now listing. And everyone is falling. You're falling. Small Rigby is renamed to Smaller Rigby. You're sliding through the jungle, being drawn, drawn, drawn to this this leg here, which has fallen apart. I don't know how far oh, no. it zoomed out. I thought I it was, was the other. I thought it was the hind leg. That it is the hind leg. This is the butt. Wait, which one is which side is his face? He looks like a potato. I don't know anything <laughs> about Rigby biology. When these behemoths like get into a state of extreme peril, their head detaches from their body and like flies away, so they can survive. <laughs> they regrow into the body over the course of hundreds of years. So they are the starship Enterprise of giant turtles. Yes. <laughs> oh god, now he just looks like more of a nightmare. <laughs> Small Rigby, I hardly do ye. I gave him a face. <laughs> Anyhow, no. um, what, you, as you, uh, fall faster sliding over the, the, the dewy and soft uh, undergrowth of Rigby. It's become yeah. a giant, uh, overgrown water slide of a jungle. And uh, you can... <laughs> now Rigby is sad. Well, yeah, oh, he just no. lost a leg. I'd be sad, too. How will <laughs> he go on? Seems we have to upsetting. get rid of this. This is not okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we no. are following... So what what angle are we falling at? Are we just sliding along the ground, or are we just like falling through trees? Uh, you're you sliding along along the ground, like I said, you were. Okay. Uh, well, I'm technically levit. I'm technically still levitating, I believe. Uh, okay, everyone else is falling, and <laughs> they're very jealous and and pretty resentful of. Scarlet. Scarlet, help us out! I uh, got this. Uh, I As guess you... I'm detached from the thing I was strapped to. You were free. Bro, oh, okay. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I don't think you were strapped, strapped to anything. anything. Oh, I just assumed because I was on, like, this, this, this like, this strap No, that was a cage, cage that fell on us, but you weren't oh. here to play at the time, so you didn't move out of the cage, that's all. You were just in oh. the cage, and then you... Okay. Oh, wait, no, we, we, that was a jail. It didn't fall on us. We just got thrown in the jail. And then he fell in the cage. I knew there was falling involved. <laughs> There's a, a lot of things are fa- fell. Yeah. A lot of things are including falling. You oh! Including you! Including uh, you! Okay, okay. okay. Oh. Canto plays a, plays a note board and starts, like, like totally jungle surfing. And jungle it's surfing. pretty rad. Okay, put yourself on the launch. You have figured yourself out. Who's next? <laughs> At the top of the hill. The... Rip takes a running dive and slides down on his belly. Wait, Rip. Catch. That's like... Hit me. Okay, I I'm I... Throwing... I have tied a rope around myself and I'm just hurling it at Rip for him to catch. Oh, goodness. Because awesome. even though I'm levitating, I levitate a lot slower than they're moving. So. Okay, I... so yep. Rip is just body surfing down the jungle, and Scarlet is attached to him via rope, being flown like a lizard kite. You two are now on the launch, yes. ready to go. Who's next? Fascinating. Uh, what I actually want to do is uh, grab a hold of the rope and then pull myself so I'm over sort of standing on Rip's back so that yes. I can steer him. Yes, yes you are. Yep. Okay. Margaret, what is your plan? Uh... 
We've, uh-huh. we've assembled the wrecking crew. I, I just imagine <laughs> that Margaret is the kind of person to, like, grab a tree and just fashion a canoe, like, really handily. And it's like this really nice, like, perfect canoe. Just a it's single a... slice, and you've got a perfect canoe right there. <laughs> it's an adequate canoe. Oh, no. Amazing but... to everyone else, but adequate to her. Right, no, she's no, she's no like, over, you know... <laughs> She's no... Everyone else is just like, what the hell? That was amazing. She's like, that's okay. I, I don't think Margaret is the kind of person who can pull canoes out of her bud. So... <laughs> <laughs> what if, what if you literally have a well, you know. She acts like she's got something lodged up there. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Dick. So High five. I look around for something that I could use as something to safely slide down or get down in some way. Uh, well, would... immediately around you, there's the, uh, the wreckage of that... Uh, lashed together jungle jail you were in for like two minutes oh, um, so like there, the there's jail. also all, all of the uh the huts, the huts. Are, are shaking and and breaking there is all the jungle itself which uh as you fall if you haven't got anything yet as you slide closer is is more fractured and uh, and uh just tree limbs tree trunks there's a very scorched corpse of a giant half demon, that, half satyr. That's true. Dude. You you could uh, grind on Crote down. What are the roofs of these? Hu- Actually, these huts have. Do these huts have proper doors, or are they just like? Uh, they're they're thatch huts. The, the uh, they had uh, blankets and and woven mats for uh, for doors. What oh. about the roofs? The the roofs are are heavy thatch. Hmm. That might work. They, so they would be suitable for what's coming next. For wakeboarding. Mm, okay. All uh, right. I, to, I look around to see if there's any solid surface nearby that I can latch something onto while I attempt to do this. Um, Just to be sure. Use, like what, something what are you looking not, for? Something that will not fall out of small rupee for a while that I can tie a rope to. Uh, there are quite a few uh, uh, trees that are still well-rooted. All right, I'm going to tie a rope to one of the trees and tie it to myself just to make sure I don't maybe fall and die while I do this. I'm going to try and head over to one of the huts and dislodge the one of the roofs to use as a uh, something to slide down. All right, in in all of the uh, koru quaking, it it comes off pretty well. Sorry, Not I like there's much mortar in a thatch hut to begin with. I pick one mm-hmm. relatively. Uh, Really small. How far can the rope get me? Like how how far can I? Like the whole this whole area is at an angle now, right? Yes. Yes. And rapidly becoming more and more of an angle. Yes. Rigby is taking a knee, as terrifying as that is. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, he needs to take one. Uh, he just lost one. Uh, if I have time, Sorry. I'd like to holding the rope slowly, cautiously lower myself down to the rest of the party's level while staying on the, uh, on the so roof of the mat of the of the hut. Okay. Now it's turned you, to the um, side. You've uh, managed to lower yourself about to the the that's drop just... off, and that's that's where <laughs> you're. Point, at this point, I'll abandon the rope. Yeah, I was gonna say that that's about uh, where your rope yeah, runs. I like how we just line. I like how we're just lining up like uh, we're starting a snowboard race. You. I'm going not? to. I'm gonna make a few quick adjustments to this roof to try and keep it in like a more of an aerodynamic shape instead of a circular okay. one. You know, kind of. Strap the sides a bit firm, firm, firmly together to try and, like, uh, kind of... Should we assume that Nav is going with uh, Margaret on her... Yeah, what? Think, no. who, who wants a rider? I got one already. Nav comes down as he does. <laughs> if you want to know more, Please. ask Plaz about it. <laughs> he walks. He fades I'm into sorry, the... but in he order takes, to know he takes about the emergency exit. In order to see Navarone's adventure, you must purchase our premium service. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of our stretch goals. I'll feed D and D gold. <sighs> All right. Uh, as you, what well, as you uh tip over the edge, you see down to where the leg once was. Uh. Uh, Rigby's pure life energy is pouring out like a waterfall uh, out of a hole in the size of his hip. Uh, it's about the size of a city block. Uh, the, the energy is, just looks like shimmering mist of, of pale blue uh, with flashes of what lightning might look like if it were uh, smooth and bendy rather than you know jagged, as actual lightning is. Uh and down, 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 about a hundred stories down, you see a great, uh, evil-looking red and purple ulcer swallowing up the the 
blood, you might Bits. say, in a metaphorical sense of the Rigby. The stuff. The stuff of Rigby. The stuff. I like it. Uh, also, you see all these these chunks of, of stone and, and jungle. And uh, dude. And dude, yes. They, this is the final perimeter uh, that was left by Grote, and they are eyeing you as the intruders uh, he told them about, and they notch nope. their bows as you go over the edge! Ah! Wait, don't they have more important things to worry about? You'd think, but oh, no! Oh. Goodness. All right. These minions have no common sense. I'm glad you said that, because I was going to bring it up. Yes, this is somewhere between uh, just discovering a trap and uh, an encounter. And as such, these guys are using minion rules. If you want to shoot them, they have one HP each, not a shared oh. book pool. Would it be possible to fire my bow at all while falling to my... Here's what I'm going to ask for. I'm going to ask for all of you to tell me how you are avoiding being shot. Now, choosing to shoot them before they shoot you is a perfectly good way to avoid this sort of thing. Uh, mm. uh, have we fallen off the edge yet? Like, are we falling yet? Uh, you are falling right now! Uh, uh, game time is extraction. Um, that eliminates the plan I had in mind. No, go uh, for it. What's your plan? Well, I was going to try and turn the, like, just try and turn the rooftop side to, like, use as a shield, but if we're already oh, yeah, falling, that's that's great. So, Can, wait, really? Totally, yes! Wouldn't that cause me to fall to a grisly death? Why? Because, like, in that way, when I, I'd be falling, but the roof would no longer be supporting me, and thus I'd, you know... As long as the roof is between you and the pouring of Rigby's pure life energy, you will stay buoyant upon it. Okay, I guess that makes sense. In that case, I'll, I'll flip it a bit topside and use it to deflect the arrows. All right, uh, give me a roll. Give me what a background you... check. Um... What would be more applicable, Scout or Forester? Or... Hmm, I'd go with Forester for this one. Alright, that's that's my less good one, but okay. And erecting a shield, what do we want to say? I'm opening it up to the group. Uh, dexterity, intelligence, what do y'all think? Um, I missed, I missed the question because I'm fiddling with an modifying a device to move on. Somehow. Alternative purpose. I, think. I would say dexterity. All right. Let's see. What was... What was, what was the question? Can I re repeat the question? Oh, we were... Uh, I was opening up to the floor which uh, ability score would be most appropriate for this use. But, uh, okay, yeah, 26. You are going to be... You... It, it works. Uh, the the thick ratch, thatch roof uh, will... Certainly draw fire, but it uh, protects you, and uh, the bolts, the, the arrowheads penetrate, but the, the shafts stick in, and they are, the closest one is eight inches from your face, which is a non-zero number, so congratulations. Nice. All right, who, who else has an idea? Okay, so if I'm permitted to speak on behalf of Team Wrecking Crew over here, um, you guys are myself, tough guy, and smart lady, um, right. what we're going to be doing is focusing okay. on evasion, because okay. I can pull on the rope to change um, Scarlet's trajectory yes. pretty well. I can also flare my big puffy sleeves to change to like break suddenly and yes. throw off their uh, their leads when they're shooting. Um, and also I can like stop doing that and speed up a lot because like honestly falling really fast. I don't know how the rest of the other two members of a uh, of Team Wrecking Crew feel about this, but I mean like. I've Feeling fallen good. further than this before. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is fine. It's only a hundred <laughs> stories. It's like, 
I, I, I just want to eyeball it, and this is like, this is like. I mean, the moon is at least maybe a tenth of the distance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah tenth, definitely. You know, yeah. Not a guess. No problem. And I could so your lay your down plan is evasive fire. maneuvers, correct? Yeah, basically, uh, we have a lot of ways we can be changing our velocity, and that's what we're gonna do to All right. avoid taking. Would you? The this, would you like reaction is definitely like gonna be Dex. So everyone will have their turn. We, we're, okay. we're working with Mint now. So uh, give me a Dex-based background roll. What background do you think would most apply to it? Evasive sail, uh, wind evasive surfing maneuvers. Sound maneuvers in. Um, I, I'm gonna say my my moon survival experience Absolutely. would apply here. I say 19. Okay. Attacks against you will have a minus two. All right. These guys are already suffering a minor minus due to uh, having unsure footing, floating around on jungle flotsam, falling in a, uh, a suspension of, of mystical energies. So yeah, it sounded like uh, Scarlet had an idea for how she can pitch in. Well, I could potentially lay down covering fire if that's okay with the rest of the crew. The artillery approach. Yeah. I, I, that's true. I focus on making sure you're not in any direct arrow paths and yeah. you just concentrate on hitting things. I did say shooting yeah. them before they can shoot you is an entirely valid uh, proposition. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I could lay down some Ray of Frosts. Uh, Cool. See, I've also got Crescendo, but I need to be in, like, melee range to use that. Yep. Well, who knows so. where you'll end up. <laughs> well, totally hopefully you do. Somebody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess I could do that. Okay. Um, I have legs. I have an idea as well. Get, uh, yeah. Shoot at... Shoot at two. Oh, I get two shots? Yeah. Okay, that's 24 and 24. All okay. right. Basically, here, here's how this is going to work. Um, we're going to find out what everyone does, and then when we see the effectiveness of all of it, we, we will create the actual narrative that includes all of these contributions to describe what happened. All right. All right. Okay. Cool. cool. So you took out two dudes. Awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. Rip and Bella. What are uh, your plans? Well, we're not we're not a pair. I mean, well, I mean, I mean I'm I'm you are doing the my people own thing who have not gone different. yet. So Rip or Bella, what are your plans? Feel feel well, free, Rip. Okay, here's my plan. Okay, I am basically going to be hollering the complete way down, <laughs> splashing up all this horrible life energy onto these guys, both to obscure their vision yes. and to cover it cover cover them in it because I know it's bad for them. Not necessarily, but it's not good. It's not you know? good for him. It might it'll sting a little bit. Uh, this is something we, I, I guess, hasn't been on recording, but something we talked about while preparing. Uh, touching this stuff uh, is bad. It is bad news. It is... Uh, good thing I'm wakeboarding down it on my face. It's wild, uncontrolled, and, and uh, untempered. So it, it will feel good until you feel too good. Like your uh, your own uh, uh, vitality would swell and grow and multiply uh, mm. to at an yeah. uncontrollable rate, and and you would blister and and have something like a chemical contact burn from oh, uh, yeah. extended contact. I was also gonna say like I don't know if we got this on record like before we started, but Mint was gonna hit me with a resist energy, so I don't like. Do explode. that. Yeah. yeah, we'll come back to that because that might end up. Mm, yeah. We'll talk, yeah. We'll come back to that. Yeah. But yeah, my plan will be like producing more like vision obscuring kick, energy kick, mist. Kick stuff. up a mist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Hopefully With not my... so much that you can't steer us. Right. Yeah, I have very good control of my voice. Please throw down a roll. All right. I, I think I was going to go for my uh, booming voice, and since, you know, my my yells come from the gut, I was going to do it with constitution. That's how we generally handle this. Yeah. So... Gut. 
Ugh, that was a bad roll. Eleven. Okay. Um, Bella. Can't always win. How does, right. how does Bella save her skin or contribute to the group so, effort? Or... So Bella, Bella is on um, a, mu- a musically created surfboard as she has been once before, and um, hmm. she she'll be kind of you know surfing around uh, kind of on her on her way down mm-hmm. you know and uh, her goal is to um, kick up her board kind of point it forward whenever. Um, if there's an arrow coming at her, but also she's trying to uh, splash them as she goes down. Like she'll be like coming down here and like kick up some life energy on this dude All and right. just douse him in it as she goes down. Awesome. That kind of thing. And just like as she's going down, just just hit them all with this stuff if she can. Okay. Uh, give me a dex roll. A dex. Yeah, and with my dance background. Twenty. Dance. Okay. Cool. Good. Nice. You will totally. You you have done that thing. Um, what's totally what's, splash and his wig flies off, and all everyone at the beach knows that he's a total square. What's your uh, what's your route? My route? Okay. You're just gonna go uh, down well, the left hand side. Generally. Yeah, I was thinking she'd kind of like just like kind of weave in through this way. Okay. Cool. And then maybe yeah, something like that, and just kind of go come down here. Uh, Navrone does something suitably in character and awesome. Once again, get, he makes them get, really unlucky, and some of them fall off. Get get the gold yeah. uh, subscription. He does some he out. does some crazy thing where he like surfs down and like like cuts a guy's throat with his knife as he ah. goes past. Gross. Okay, let's I don't know. see. So here's what's going to what what they do. D twenty plus. Uh, oh no. Die, One, two, fall four, off. Five. Okay, three of them. Whoops. What did I just do? They go. One, what the two, fuck are we doing? We are standing on chunks of falling flesh. We should uh, reconsider our lives. Why am I gonna have to worry about that after a few more minutes? All right. So let's see. <laughs> two of them hit. Let's see. Rip. And uh, Scarlet are each going to take uh, one shot each, uh, which is ten damage. All right. Ten damage, Strip and Scarlet. So I'll damage that for you. As the th- four of you who are sailing down, and the two who are riding, in one way or another, bob and weave, uh, uh, hopping over branches and tree trunks. Uh, and uh, boulders, even significant hunks of, of uh, mountains and monoliths from, from Rigby just pouring and pouring down. Uh, a few desperate arrows head your way, and uh, out of like th- this entire uh, sort of division, only two find their mark. Uh, the, those were... Uh, Bella's distractions uh, prevent anyone on the left from hitting her uh, or Nav while Margaret is is safely ensconced in her thatch shield. Uh, Scarlet providing covering fire and knocking off two as they are about to train their bows at uh, Mint, who is looking a, a little rough around the edges right now. Rip hollering. As usual, it's not really doing much for <laughs> once, and uh, and possibly even hooting. <laughs> Just having a good time. He's hooting. Yet there are no blowfish. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. 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 <laughs> not sure if that was in character or not. <laughs> yes. And as you sail, as you sail down, uh, so, uh, some of them fall limply off their perches, uh, concentrating too hard on hitting you and not enough on holding footing, and you penetrate the edge of um, the hellhole itself. Uh, the sky, as you once saw it, is no longer there. Instead, it, it's just a, a shimmering, sickly red glow of, of pain and, and fear. Gross. You are now within a hellhole. You should probably uh, spend some recoveries 
and say that you had been taking a short rest. Uh, yeah, I, I I figured we were gonna take several turns to get down there. I was gonna like next turn I was like ready to like chug a potion oh. like mid mid surfing. <laughs> oh, you can totally I, say that is a thing which you did. Um, Whoa. okay, well I chugged the potion while I was going down. That lady is surfing down a waterfall, did a backflip, and then slammed a dew. Yeah, <laughs> literally what I did. Drinking yogurt from a tube. Nice work. Ugh. So what are healing potions are recovery plus 1d6 or what? I don't remember. I haven't used one in a long time. Who uses potions in this game? It's like I, know, like, I don't really need potions most of the time. I think it depends on your race, but it, you get at least a 4d <laughs> something. Well, it's a recovery plus like one d six. Oh, it's it plus one d eight. Okay, think. that's what. It, yeah, that sounds right. Okay. So, how do we all land safely? On um, because you're awesome. Because we're great. I assume like, my fat. I I, I can break us properly and let Rip just sort of casually slide to a stop. Or you just like. I can just, like, slowly carry you down with my levitating. Yeah. Or you can jump off me and send me flying into the bonus minigame, where I just run into a bunch of things. <laughs> bonus game! Yes. We get to the edge of the cliff, and Mint jumps off of Rip uh, like a Yoshi, sending him... Conveniently for Bella, there was, like, a rail at the top of the, uh... At the top of the hull, <laughs> and she grinded it all the way down, spiraling in, and then just dismounted. Oh, nice. Rip that, like, slams into a bunch of point. conveniently placed bowling pins. She even collected the skate as she went down. Yes. Found the Picked secret up video all the VHS tape. tapes. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so uh, if everyone's got their bookkeeping out of the way, you want to know what you find? Yeah, okay. Absolutely. I need to heal real quick, but... Yes. Tell me what's in that, the hole. That was a full heal-up, right? No. No? no? Well, it's sure. just a short God, Stop asking. I'm sorry. Yeah. Every turn I'm going to be like, so that was a full heal-up, yeah? Oh... Uh... <laughs> Oh, I will end yeah. you. Okay. That's why I'm not actually gonna do it. So as you find yourself uh, within the the borders of the hellhole, uh, you you're uh, ensconced in something like imagine a large arena. You're sort of like in a bowl, and the walls just like bowl up around you. Um, except you know they aren't so much walls as just monolithic slabs of like meat and and glossy stone and oh delicious it seems yeah, it like rip place it's you can't really identify what it's made of it's no actual building material well, you said it was meat it it resembles meat and stone and uh and the so that uh hard shells of beetles all at the same time it's, As an expert on meat, can I identify whether it is or is not? It meat? is not meat. Alas. Oh. It's it's the uh, solidified souls of the damned. Uh, Pretty please, cool. Please do not ingest. Uh, and with yeah. and within you see uh, something you, that uh, is basically a Vegas casino. Uh, there's a large building with flashing lights and neon. Uh, although it's not the most uh, pleasing uh, color palette, shall we say. And you are yeah. approached by the bouncers. Well, I don't like the look about this at all. Oh. This looks like a... we land in a bar? This is only this... 30% of what I expected. This looks like a place of foul decadence. We should leave immediately. Oh, yeah. They're, they're going to want to help with that. Uh... Well, that's oh, not crap nice. my knuckles. Roll initiative. Yeah. 